Hi guys, doing Chris Bedward here with another lick in the series. I want to take this time to thank you all for checking out the first lick and just giving me some feedback and you know letting me know what you thought about it. I also want to especially thank Chris Wong who posted a, a video of himself trying out the lick on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to give him a follow on Instagram, just follow the Chris Wong or the Chris Wong uh, guys fantastic guitarist. Anyway, so this next look in the series uh, is going to be dealing with association to create fretboard visualization. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so let's check out this, this little lick here. Um, so I'm in B flat because, well, that's just how I roll. Um, and I'm following... scale shape okay Ionian scale shape I, I tend to go uh, not shape one shape two or anything like that I, I tend to go by the modal names for the scale shape so for me that's Ionian Dorian see that's just a little bit more musical for me and uh, just makes sense so anyway uh, what I'm trying to do here with with this lick is not only be mr. speedman not, not really but um, I'm trying to create a uh, association between an arpeggio shape and a scale shape. I think I think that's a really helpful thing, just like how you want to create association between chords and scales, because after all, chords and scales are the same thing. Same and arpeggios and scales and arpeggios and chords are all the same thing. You don't have to put them all in these separate categories. Again. I, I don't like the idea of having the switch off, switch on sort of mentality. So I think this is a great way to um, be able to look at the fretboard, see an arpeggio shape, and see a scale shape. And hopefully you can also see a chord shape in there too. So let's get straight into this. So we're on the G string, starting at the 7th fret. All right. And we're going to play this on the string. So that's 7th fret, 10th fret, 7th fret again, 8, 10. And then we're going to descend down. Then we're going to play a 10th fret on the D string. play 7th fret again on the G, and then 10th fret again on the D, then descend to 8, 7, so we're following the scale, so, so far. Okay, that's pretty much what we're doing, we're following the scale at this point. Uh, then you're going to play 10th fret on the A. Then back 7th fret on D. And then 10th fret again on the A. Alright, so let's do it again from the top. Alright, so at this point, um, the difficulty might come in on just the way it feels because suddenly it's no longer. Uh, three three note feeling on the strings, you know. So after that, we play um, we play eighth fret on the A string, tenth fret, then walk up the scale, then descend again. Hey, you can do as, uh, as many numbers as you want. You, you can loop that as much as you want. all together one more time right. so we're gonna need 
need to escape out of that, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the hard part with looping ideas, getting out of them, escaping, if you will. So from here what we do is we play 10th fret on the low E, 8, and then 6, right? And then you want to climb back up that. Then you want to play the 8th fret on the A. This is where the arpeggio is starting to uh, take play. Uh, then 7th fret on the D, climb up. together slow